If you want to be a confident geezer, there's one thing that you need to avoid more than anything else in your intimate relationships, your social relationships, your relationships at work, and that is being a social chameleon without a strong sense of identity, a man who does not know who he really is. And in this video, I'm gonna tell you why the chameleon effect happens and how to avoid it and develop this coarse sense of strong identity in this conviction in who you truly are. So you can share that authentically and fearlessly with the world and be loved for that. It is Ollie once again, helping you be a confident and authentically attractive man. And I'm sat here at Miradora right now. It's a bit windy, I apologize. Why would a person be a chameleon? Why would a person trade his own needs, his own desires, his own frame of reference and experience of reality for the needs, the opinions, and the desires of other people? It serves a function though. It serves a function because, think about this, if a man believes that he's broken, if a man believes that he is a shameful person, there's something about him that if other people found it out, he would be abandoned for it. And in order to deal with that, he becomes a chameleon. He convinces other people he doesn't have any needs. He convinces people that he doesn't have any desires of his own, any opinions. He does this as a way of coping and as a way of controlling other people to avoid the potential for embarrassment, shame, or abandonment. So that's the benefit, but the downside is massive. The downside, if I can sum it up in a nutshell, is nobody knows you. Nobody truly loves you. That is the downside. If you are a chameleon in life, if you're sharing yourself, your authentic true self with nobody, then you will always be unfulfilled. You will not feel known, you will not feel loved, and you will not feel connected to the people around you. That is how serious this gets. But how do you develop this sense of core identity? This, as of right now, is currently step one in this nine-week coaching program I'm putting together to help men be authentically confident in their life and relationships. This is currently step one. So here are a few things that you can do to develop that core sense of unshakable conviction and identity with who you truly are. The first thing is your life story. Now, if you want to go in depth with this, there is an online writing program called the Past Authoring Program. I think it's Jordan Peterson is the one that created it. If you don't want to go this in depth, I would suggest you just take out a pen and paper or load up a Word document and just start writing your life story. If you've not written a life story yet, you really need to do this because there are some things in your past that you've not visited yet. There are some things in your life that you've not become aware of that happened in the past that are affecting you right now and you're not aware of it yet. So to know where you've come from, how it's affected you now and potentially influence where you're going, write a life story. The second thing I wanna ask you is what do you love? What do you love about being alive? And what do you hate in the world? What do you love? What do you hate? The third thing I'd like to ask you is, if your life was a movie and you were the main character, what would be the theme of the movie? Would it be a horror? Would it be a thriller? Would it be a romantic comedy? Or would it be a pretty depressing movie? Or would it be a story of heroic triumph? Whatever the case is with you, tells you how you see yourself. It tells you how you see your life. Now, the important thing here is to now ask yourself, what would you like the rest of the movie to be? The fourth thing I'd like you to ask yourself is who do you look up to and why? Now, this is important because who we look up to tells us what traits and characteristics also lie within us that are calling us to embody more in our lives. When we look at someone who is heroic, then that means there's something in us that's heroic, that's suppressed, that wants to be expressed in our lives too. Another thing to ask yourself is really go basic with this stuff. What's your favorite food? What's your favorite music? What's your favorite movies? Where would you like to travel? Really build a big rap sheet on yourself. And as a little bonus, I'd also recommend that you ask yourself, in what ways are you being fake in what ways are you being currently dishonest with those around you? So those are just a few questions to ask yourself in order to develop a core sense of identity. Any questions that you've answered, stick them in a comment below and let everyone know what your answer is to some of those questions. Let us know what your favorite answer is as well. And as always guys, I will see you in the next video. Peace.